I've had some more requests recently for use of my videos and I'm looking for more efficient and faster ways of saying no. It's a very long and complicated task to try to unravel some of the types of propaganda to which we're subjected to and some of the more complex and incomprehensibly ridiculous ones have to do with, in my case, requests for the use of my material. These people seem completely oblivious to what I'm trying to do here in that YouTube is about self-broadcasting. It's not about having your material you know, put somewhere else, supposedly. And I'm not going to consent to having that done because I have various things I want to accomplish with regard to the discussion of issues of property rights. <laughs> and then, of course, these people are trying to take my property as efficiently as possible and, and seem to think that uh, their actions warrant a response or some sort of devotion of time on my part. And I suppose in a way they do because I try to dissect these questions that are extremely self-contradictory and confusing and overwhelm people with with their sheer absurdity until they don't know how to function. And I suppose to some extent the people who make this these sorts of requests might be caught up in that same sort of cycle themselves. And therefore maybe they have a point to make or some discussion to raise that would be of value in the same way that other people have raised certain questions I wouldn't have thought of, like the recent one with postmodernism, which could be another form of the, try and th of the things I try to talk about on my channel. In the case of asking me to violate my own property rights when I'm doing a channel on property rights, the way that this occurs is there are four main intellectual property areas that are often in dispute. One is the simple copying and then uh, people would want to take my material and compete against me somewhere else, putting my material up somewhere else and divert the views and the revenue and the growth of my channel away from me. So naturally I don't want to do that. There's uh, the privacy questions that I, I would be losing control in a certain extent to over the use of my face and my voice and other elements of me and my identity and my personal information and those will be taken up and put somewhere else. I also lose the rights of attribution. It's almost like plagiarism in a, in a way because I'm not getting recognized in my view tally when someone else steals my video and puts it up on another channel or another website and racks up the numbers that I'm not getting and that I can't, can't keep track of and which they can destroy if they want by taking the video down. And those are important numbers because the ability for me to remain viable and monetizable on YouTube is dependent on a certain amount of traffic and views per year and the recognition, your rankings depend on how many subscribers you have and how many views you have and so on. There is also the problem in that the basic revenue, people often aren't offering any money or they're from companies that have a, a track record of, of signing people on and then not, not just taking their money for the revenue, for their revenue, revenue they have, not getting them any more customers, not exposing them anywhere else, not helping them with copyright disputes or anything else, just tying up their work so that even the original congregators can't use it or gain the benefits from it anymore. So there's, if there is any money offered, it's typically even less money than I would get for the video on YouTube because they typically make me offers for only for the most already well-known and successful videos, which are don't need any more exposure somewhere else and I want to have the exposure on my own channel. So there are all these ways that, that what I'm trying to do is undermined because I have a certain message I want to get across and that's not going to come across in, in the on the other venues these people are proposing. In fact the opposite in a lot of ways because often I get a certain amount of mutilation of my material. I get, it's just uh, deliberately mangled out of spite or it's put in some other context that I wouldn't have put for the video, that I wouldn't have wanted for the video, to give it some other meaning other than what I intended. There's a tendency to try to hold it up to ridicule or mockery or characterize it in some way that is untrue as I see it. Though I wouldn't want any of those things happening, but of course, uh, sometimes if I talk about these things, other unforeseen elements of discussion come up. Maybe that'll happen this time. In some, in one case, I was contacted and it seemed like the uh, person making the offer just wanted to kind of chat, uh, much like what happened in open 
comment section and perhaps that's what's happened here and there's something else which can be discussed. In, in this case it seems like the offers that are made they have an element of, of uh, self-destructiveness about it. it doesn't, I don't get the impression these people are conducting a legitimate business and that they really want to get the most views they can and make a genuine contribution because they're doing things that will destroy their audience in the long run or that show contempt for their own subject matter and it doesn't make you look good if you if you trash the very material that they're, you, you're using as a basis of your program. So those are some of the things I've been thinking about and I hope this streamlines things so that people won't waste their time sending me inappropriate offers in the future and I won't have to bother spending as much time thinking about how to reply to them.